Thank you for joining us for a Newton Design Series. And with me today, I've got Thomas talking about the HEAT project. Thomas, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. Um, so I'm Thomas Hervé. I've been working at Red Hat for about uh, two years now and working on the HEAT project for the past three. Uh, I work from home outside of Paris. Um, well, thank you for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about what HEAT is as a project? Sure. So HEAT is an orchestration tool. Um, what it does, it, has, it allows you to basically describe a cloud application um, using a declarative language. It's, uh, it's basically a different way to interact with your OpenStack cloud. You can use the command line, you can use Horizon, and HEAT is another way to actually interact with your cloud. And the idea is to be more, more repeatable and more declarative so that you can uh, do things more complex and it manages the details for you, like dependencies, and tries to under updates and things like that. Got it. So we're about a month after the Austin Design Summit. So what were some of the hot topics that your team discussed, and what were the outcomes from those discussions? Right. So um, I think we we had two main axes during, during the, the summit. Uh, one is a, a long-term refactoring that we've been working on, which we call internally convergent. And we somewhat expose that term to users, but it's a bit confusing to them. There's a really nice uh, summit video about it, actually. So um, to make it short, convergent is um, a different way that uh, we uh, are trying here to spawn up resources. Uh, right now, we kind of do a, a built-in approach, trying to load everything at, at all. And convergent is a bit more iterative and it allows us to do it allows us to do interesting things like uh, unlink failure more more nicely so that uh, you can recover um, uh, external failures and it also allows us to uh, accept updates during the actual deployment so that you can change things uh, right away without waiting for all the things to be deployed. Uh, we've been working on that subject for almost two years now and. Uh, it's almost to the point that it's ready, and uh, so we're trying to figure out the details so that we can actually make that the default model. And it is being used by other projects in OpenStack, for example, Chipolo, Magnum, Sara. So the, the focus for, for the next month is going to be, can we activate that and make sure that we don't break those projects and let it work too seamlessly for them. And uh, related to that, another important topic for us is performance. Um, the, the, the project I mentioned are actually deploying some relatively big things. And uh, it is somewhat struggling sometimes when you have uh, several hundred resources and be able to maintain it over time to update it. So we want to make sure that uh, we, we handle those loads very well and uh, that we can actually Go, uh, go a notch and actually handle even things even better. So yeah, I think that uh, that's probably too important to focus on the part. Got it. Thank you. And I think the list will be pretty similar, but what are some of the user needs or problems that you've heard that you're trying to solve in this uh, Newton cycle? Yeah, I, I think, I think uh, performance was definitely something that we heard about. <clears throat> and there are always, uh, things that we need to improve at the template level so that people can do more things and be, be more um, efficient in the way they're de declaring that they're deployment. So we're, we're actually all also working on that, but it's a list of small things and a general thing that we can do. Got it. And so if you were to give me a list of, you know, the top three priorities, if you will, for either new features or enhancing existing features within heat during Newton, what would that list be? So yeah, the, the list, the, the top of the list converge, and that being convergence is obviously there. I think uh, right, right around the corner is performance announcement. Even if it's always a topic, I think uh, it is mature enough nowadays that uh, we, we should focus on that. And I think the third is various template improvements and introducing new functions. Uh, we have, for example, conditionals is something that people have been asking for for a while. That allows you to um, 
have resources which are activated depending on your environment. Um, some people are doing interesting things with something called YAKL, which, is, which I have mixed feelings about it, but uh, it allows you to do some really powerful things in terms of uh, uh, manipulating your data in the template and being able to, to actually uh, create more, more interesting structure. Got it. Okay, and then the product work group uses this notion of themes uh, to, to capture a roadmap and new features, et cetera. So the themes that we generally talk about are things like scalability, resiliency, modularity, interoperability, and manageability. What themes do you uh, perceive your team working on during this cycle? I think convergence is all about resiliency um, because uh, it's the, the core of the issue that we're trying to solve is being able to handle failures more gracefully. So I think, uh, I think resiliency is a good thing. Obviously, like scalability is also something related uh, to me. And, um, <clears throat> we, we have some horizontal scalability for, uh, for cloud operator perspective because you, you can have many, many stacks and it would be able to handle that well. So the scalability that we have, that we have the scalability issue that we have is about Managing very large stacks, and you know, that that's uh, that's an obviously an exit that we want to to work on as well. Got it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, well, um, like the the main thing for us is to have feedback. I think uh, it's really interesting to to get things from users and have people try it. And sometimes we will have an answer for them right away, and that, that I think that's, that's nice because people will be able to to. Um, move on, but sometimes we also won't have an answer, and that's the way we can improve the product. And so, try it, try to be creative in the way you write templates and come to us for, for questions. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again. No problem. Thank you very much. <laughs>